So this little airplane, let me get to my, my information. I want to make sure I get everything exactly right. It's kind of a cute airplane, actually. But this was one of several designs constructed by the builder. He'd had a few accidents uh, in his previous designs, but he was really perfecting what he was building. He was figuring it out. Um, of his previously built aircraft, a couple had been sold, and they had been involved in accidents as well. This air aircraft in the, in the photo made almost six flights. Uh, on the fifth flight, the builder experienced a hard landing. The fuel started leaking, and he didn't have any inspection panels. So, um, so he climbed out of the aircraft and decided he needed to figure out why it was leaking. <coughs> so he takes the airplane and he puts it on sawhorses and he jumps up and down in it to try and simulate loading and unloading of the wing. He has no way to inspect um, the structure around where the fuel tanks exist. So he jumps up, up and down, attempting to figure out what's causing the fuel leak. And apparently he chose, he couldn't find anything wrong with it, and he chose to fly the airplane again. And turning base to final, his uh, wing separated. And this was witnessed by several people at the airport. Um, and it suffered an in-flight in uh, breakup, which, which of course was fatal. Um, and we won't dwell on too many of these pictures here. Let's talk a little bit about the design and what we see. In some of the pictures, you can't really see this, but I want to point out something on this one. Anyone that knows anything about woodworking would know that you would want your spar to be one piece. And this one actually stops at each rib, and the rib passes through the spar. So you have two cap strips. And let me get my mouse back here. Between your two cap strips is a piece of, uh, of webbing, and that web actually stops between the two ribs. It's not consistent. I have some artwork here that will help show this. Um, it was made of three millimeter Luan plywood from Home Depot. Um, this is the aft section. The ribs were actually constructed of, of pink foam, which is an insulation material. Foam is a common building material for experimental airplanes. It's okay. It just has to use, be used properly. The right type of foam has to be used as well. Okay, here's my diagram. The yellow portion, the solid yellow line, represents the length the spar actually protruded into the wing. So the wing panel was 12 feet, and four feet of that actually encompassed a spar. The rest was without a spar. Um, it had five or six ribs in it, and the blue area was actually an extension that, of, that had been added to the airplane at a later point and simply screwed to the tip of the wing. Now. Anybody tell me what that is? Everyone knows what a G-force is, right? We're, we're all experiencing about one G right now. Well, that's the formula that we used to determine that this wing would fail at about 1.28 Gs. So in a 20-degree bank, the wing should have folded, and it did. 